Hello folks, how y'all doing today? Today we're taking a look at this Akasu Seymour digital night vision unit. Comes with this really nice uh, semi-hard sided case. We'll take a look at everything that comes in this package and uh, take a look at its performance and go through its features and then uh, close her all down. Okay, so let's do the unboxing. Get a zipper here. Comes with your uh, instruction manual, very detailed. In English, which is nice. Comes with a uh, adapter card for the uh, memory card, which is already in it. You get a spare battery, which is always really nice. That way, your battery goes dead in the wild. You could just plug the new one in and keep on filming. Lens cloth, which is standard. Nice shoulder strap and a charging cord. And like I said, you also get a uh, memory card, which is already in the uh, device, okay? So let's take a look at this guy. Weighs about one pound. I'll put the full specifications on the screen right here. You can see this is IPX55 rated, or IP55, which is good for really heavy downpours. You just don't want to submerge it, okay? So you have a pretty decent amount of uh, weatherproofing. Just don't go submerging it in puddles, and you'll be all right. Now, the controls right here are uh, siliconized. They don't they make an audible click, but it's not super loud. So somebody, you know, a ninja 20 yards away ain't going to hear you and make out your position. We have this... Uh, Groove on the top here, and that allows you to hook this up to like night vision mounts so you can put it on your helmet. Now, the zoom range for this is 1 to 16x and five steps. It's 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. So, uh, as you'll see a little bit later in this video, I do navigate around with this a little bit, and it is feasible to do that. It's not the biggest uh, field of view, but it's big enough that if you're at all familiar with the uh, area that you're in, Especially if you're on like city streets or flat surfaces, this will be fine to uh, navigate with. Now these buttons do have a light up mode where they light up in a nice green color, so that uh, you know you can see, so that you can see at night what you're doing and uh, what buttons you're hitting, which is always handy. We have a tripod mount on the top and the bottom. We have our uh, attachments right here for our strap. Here's the battery compartment right here. It's where your uh, rechargeable lithium-ion battery goes. Now you can recharge it directly through the USB-C. You don't have to take the battery out. And then there's your mini micro card, SD card right there. Okay, and there's your USB-C charger. So super simple. Now uh, once you turn it on, you're gonna adjust focus with this. Okay, here's your infrared and zoom buttons. If you tap it, it controls the zoom. If you hold it down, it controls the uh, infrared uh, illumination. Now, this is an 850 nanometer illuminator, which is visible to the naked eye. So, you know, this isn't the best choice for super secret ninja operations. But for search and rescue, uh, you know, uh, hunters, especially when you're in your tree stand before dawn and right after dusk, um, you know, people who like to watch nocturnal wildlife. This is a very high resolution camera in here. And if there's any ambient light, it actually works really well, even without the illuminator. And I will. So if you're in like a city and, uh, you know, there's mostly peaceful riots going on and you're looking out your window or you're on your roof with city street lights, you would not need to use the illuminator at all. And this would 100 percent maintain your uh, camouflage. OK, wouldn't give you away. So. It does have some tactical uses. If they put a 940 nanometer illuminator in here, it would be fantastic, and I'm going to suggest that to them. I always, whenever I review these products, I'm a former U.S. Army infantryman, and I was a uh, big city private investigator, and I always make suggestions to companies when I review their products. So the number one thing I'll be recommending to them is to switch this to a future version or a different version of a 940 nanometer illuminator, and then it would be good for all your sneaky stuff. But... Really cool. I like it. Uh, let's get out here and do a little show a little performance with this thing in the daytime. 
Hello YouTube, how y'all doing today? We are out here today with these Akasu Seymours, looking down here across my lake, a phrase which I love saying. There's my uh, 100 yard target down there, you can see the boat, turn boat, we'll zoom in on that guy. You can see them down there. That's uh, 4X, there's 8, let me see if we can focus on x and there's the target zoom back out here you could see real high resolution down there right now we're about 275 yards away roughly so you could see really good performance out here it's my gazebo we saw this at night we'll see this at night as well our swing set for the kids so these are really nice high resolution. I'll zoom in on this church. That's uh, 4, 8 power, 16. So these would be awesome for surveillance and stuff like that. As a former private investigator, I appreciate that sort of thing. Really nice. These are really nice goggles. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to get a higher night film a bunch of footage now some of the footage unfortunately I recorded without audio so I'll put a nice set background soundtrack on it for you but uh, I'm gonna walk you around the homestead you'll see all the same sites at nighttime and uh, you'll be get a good idea what the capabilities of these are very nice I like them okay folks so you got to see the daytime performance of this and you can see it's actually really good uh, very impressive, you know. I I cannot complain at all. This has a very very nice day camera in it, as as you saw. Okay, let's get out here tonight, and we'll do some night vision. Okay, YouTube, we are out here at night with the Acaso Seymour, and we're in the passive mode, infrared zero, and all this light that you're seeing is from a two lumen flashlight. I'm way out here in the country. Like if I take this away, it's it's dark even with the pass. Listen, coyotes, can you hear that? When I say I'm out in the country, folks, I mean it. That church over there is almost 200 yards away. But yeah, all this light you're seeing right now is coming from a two lumen flashlight and that is illuminating. That tree right there is about 35 to 40 yards away. You can see my um, mailbox across the street there a little bit. It's about 60 yards away. Amazing. Okay, now we're going to go infrared mode.
right, folks, you get to see the night vision performance on this thing. And as I said on my uh, video, and I definitely want to restress, I'm going to pitch black homestead in the country. You know, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, my neighbors are mostly cows, except for the one building that you saw in the video. I'm pretty much like nowhereville, and it gets really dark out here. And you are still able to see absolutely no problem with these. These are extremely high performance units. Uh, excellent. Even the um, passive vision, as long as I had like my uh, little two lumen yard lights, it lit everything up really, really good. But it, even in the really dark areas, as soon as I hit that illuminator, fantastic performance. And uh, these are light IPX55, so they got a pretty good shock rating. You got a spare battery, so you can keep one in your pocket. You're not going to run down. You know, I think these are a little over 200 bucks, and for 200 bucks, you're getting every dime worth of that performance. These are really, really nice unit. I definitely like them. I think if you get these, you'll be very happy with them. Uh, you know, for for citizen usage, a casual user, you take them with you camping. You know, you want to see is there what's just beyond the light at the ring of the end of the campfire? Is there a saber tooth tiger out there? Is there a bear out there? This definitely would let you see what's lurking around out in the woods. So very, very cool. Uh, like I said, for law enforcement, you know, fire rescue, that sort of thing, search and rescue out in rural environments, this is a very useful unit. This is one of the nicest uh, digital night vision devices I've used. I mean, this has AI enhancement that uh, color corrects everything and image stabilization. So it has a lot of nice features that the other units don't. And, you know, it flex that in the, in the price tag. But it's a really nice unit. I mean, you can see I've got a nice big objective lens. The illuminator is a nice big illuminator. And it, it's definitely powerful. It works really well. You saw in the specifications, this has got excellent specifications. And on the back here, you can see we have got a nice big view screen. So these are really nice and I definitely would recommend them to anyone who wants a digital night vision capability. It also records, you know, day and night. So it's also a camera and a uh, video camera. So you got a, a lot of versatility from this thing, but definitely really nice for the money and I, I would recommend it. Thanks for watching folks. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Remind me out.